Everybody. Todd, this is Aaron. <laughs> Hello, I'm Todd, everybody. that's Aaron. I'm Aaron, that's Todd. Yeah, no. that's right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Todd, Aaron, live at the roost. This is our first full weekend of party planning and week, work. Week one. one party. Week one. So. Good luck, this on the subway right there. Yeah, form strong. Our blank canvas. That's the blank canvas that we have to work with. Over here at the roost tonight, as you can see. I'm watching while Aaron's doing all the work. Yeah. <laughs> so I just did a pan of the back wall here, and this is the bar here in Aaron's garage where he has the annual Halloween party. So it's mid-August, and we decided to start working on the props and getting things ready for this year's Halloween party. Met last weekend and kind of discussed exactly what we wanted to do and got a plan of action together and. Uh, Decided to start working on it uh, this weekend. So what we're doing here is, or what Aaron's doing, I'm just watching. <laughs> uh, we have this blank wall back here. It was white. It had some uh, decorations on it that he hung up over the years. But we wanted to give it a different feel this year. So what Aaron's doing is, he's actually going to make it look like a brick wall using a technique that he had uh, saw on YouTube from another YouTuber. And I'll leave a link there in case you're interested in how it's done. But basically, what he's doing now is he's marking the lines for the bricks and the mortar. And he'll be using tape for the mortar joint lines. And then he'll be using like a compound, the joint compound, wall compound, to lay over the entire wall and then he'll peel the tape off where the joints are supposed to be and we'll show you once it once it you get going here I'm gonna do a little work tonight can't get there and all the credit I don't want it real wonky but what about a rookie mason an apprentice first year apprentice might have laid these bricks. Will you go over to the other side of this bridge? Yep. And grab this bowl.
<laughs> Let me make sure you're in the shot yeah. right there, for one. I feel like you're like off in the distance over there. Oh no, you're there. You're there. It looks like white, yeah. white washed subway or white, white gloss tile subway with like old dingy grout. That's what, that's what it looks like. It's definitely the biggest project I think we're going to tackle this year. You want maximum quarter inch tape because if you go any bigger, your grout lines will look cartoonish or, I mean, if that's the look you're going for, that's fine, but if you want realism, quarter inch or less on your tape size. That's going to be your grout. But what you do is for your vertical lines, you go from the edge of your wall, you're putting your brick on, measure over eight inches is what we did. So we did eight inch increments. And then to get our width, we did three inch increments up the wall for the horizontal lines. Once we got all that grid out, we taped it. And then we realized we missed a step because we got ahead of ourselves. So whatever length you want your brick, divide that by two. That's the measurement you want to have for your vertical lines. If you want a staggered brick pattern. If you want an equal uniform brick pattern, then just go with the width of brick you want for your vertical lines and stay there. If you want staggered, take the width of your brick, divide it by two. For us, you know, eight divided by two is four. So we had to go four inch on our vertical lines to give us a staggered pattern because you're gonna cut every other piece of tape to give you that staggered look. It's a lot of work, but I think you'll be happy with the result because the next step, we're gonna take some joint compound and we're gonna cover the entire wall over the tape and everything. Um, a key thing to you know speak on though is while it's still wet, you pull your tape. Because if you wait till it dries all the way when you pull your tape, you'll crack the brick that you, the, the brick look you're going for. So pull your tape when it's still wet. And that's, that's where we're at right now. This part was hard, it was time consuming. Not necessarily hard, but time consuming. The real art, the real detail is gonna come when we actually paint, which it probably won't be me, it'll probably be him, because I'll be at my house and he'll be working here in the evening, so. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll make sure you guys see the, the painting process, and you probably hear me cuss a couple times, but we'll get through it together. Mm -hmm.